like to introduce yourself? Uh, yep, yeah, my name's Lou and uh, I play the guitar and sing and I also play the drums. My name is Kazai Max and I am a hip-hop artist slash reggae music console. I'm Danny Uziel. I play solo and I also play with Mink. My name's Rixie, I'm a singer-songwriter, live and work in Portsmouth. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing here today? Uh, so today I've been writing a song with um, three other girls. Because yours is kind of in the middle. Without... You know, like if you're living your life true and real to you, then it doesn't matter what other people think about you. And uh, that was just a good starting point for where we were going to take our song. Oh, today has been amazing. Um, a little bit of mentoring the young up and coming artists. Wake up your mind, oh people, it's real. Don't send me off to war, I'll teach me how to kill I'm gonna love my fellow man, gotta keep it real He frees like me, yeah. he hey. frees like me I'm gonna start from this very young age I can feel that my head was trapped in this cage with a rage I can feel the blood going through my veins It was like being back to the old age But now my music So today we've been working on a song with uh, three young people and um, all various ages, abilities, backgrounds. It's been really interesting hearing their take on the subject matter which is about extremism, hate crime. Is that too slow? I brave young person who wanted to talk about some friendship issues that he'd had and, and shared that and that was a really good starting point and actually after that it sort of broke the ice and allowed other people to share some, some kind of personal stories as well so we've had a really productive day. So I've got together with Courtney and Sarah to um, write a track about hate crimes, addressed the issue, kind of like spoke about it for a bit kind of got cogs working about that, came up with a riff on guitar and then while I sat there and played it for 20 minutes straight, the girls sat down and wrote some lyrics. My name's Courtney, stage name Missy and I rap for hip hop, uh, trap. <laughs> when karma hits home, the people realise like when karma hits home for you being racist mm -hmm. or homophobic. Yeah, yeah. What do you think you get out of your sessions at Music Fusion? I get to tell a story in my songs, and like because I'm not very good at speaking, um, I can just write it in a, in lyrics, and then I'll be at, and then that'll be recorded, and I can show people it that I can't talk to. It's like a family, like a second family. And like sometimes the people here I can talk to about more stuff than I can my parents. Why is it important for them to be addressing things like hate crime through music and how can it be useful? Well, it's just a form of expression, isn't it? Like, you know, you're doing that and it saves it saves the person going out and actually doing something bad. I think everyone should have some sort of creative outlet. Everyone says, oh yeah, I was born to be racist, born to be homophobic, but like everyone's born the same way. It's like as you grow up, you get taught it. Like, by, like people around you, not necessarily mum and dad, but like people around you have taught you that black people are not good people, black people are stereotyped like this. What they're doing is like wrong, like by hating on other people, but then on the other hand is to show that we're going to keep going and not let anything get to us. Keeping it real, nobody feels. Bipolar brain, no more rust and rain pain for the game, you know. Grass cart in the field, hay for rest. It's blocked up brain and nothing on my set list. Your train spotters and nothing on my